Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make an equipment rental website using Shopify. First, be sure to you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for one month one time deal. So, without further ado, let's get going. First, we're going to go to the product section over here and we're going to click on add product. Here we're going to start uh, filling all the blanks with our product's information. For example, I'm going to start with my medic my forklift rental. Now what, now what we're going to do is we're going to copy our title, we're going to go over here to the description and on, gen on generate text we're going to paste our title and click on generate. This way Shopify is going to use its built-in AI to create a description for us. Here we can either choose to, gen to generate a description again or just click here on keep to keep the one we already have. Here on media we're going to click on upload new and we're going to select an image for our product. You can see that below our, our image we're going to have a category section. Now here usually Shopify is going to choose a, a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct. But if we want we can click over here to change it if we so want it. On our right we're going to have the product type, vendor, collections and tax section. For collections make sure you add your product to your home page and here on tags we can put for example equipment rental or just whichever tag we would like. For the pricing let's say that we're going to charge around 60,000 pesos for our uh, forklift rental service and our cost per item is going to be around 20,000 pesos so we would have a 40,000 pesos profit at a 66.7% margin of profit. For inventory we are just going to uncheck this because we are not going to keep track of it and here we also have a weight section to keep uh, to assign weight to our product in case we are going to do any kind of shipping. Once we are done customizing our product we are going to go here and we are going to click on save and we would have our first product already on our online store. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on add product again and I'm going to keep uploading all of the products of my store. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done. So once we have all of the products you can see here they, uh, that I have added a medical equipment rental, a printer rental and a stairs rental. We're going to go over to our online store and we're going to start to customize it. The first thing that we're going to be able to customize is, is going to be our theme. You can see that if we go down, Shopify is going to provide us a bunch of free links for us to use, or free themes, sorry, for us to use. But if we want to see more of them, we can click over here on Visit the Theme Store and it's going to redirect us to the Shopify Theme Store where we are going to be able to see a bunch of more themes, some of which may better suit our website. But for me, I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. Next we're going to go over here and we're going to click on customize and here we're going to be able to start customizing our website. You can see that if I click over here the section is going to be outlined, we're going to be calling this one's sections and they are going to be outlined by a blue line and here on the top left the name of the section is going to be displayed. On our right we're going to have a bunch of different options uh, that we can use to change and customize our sections. For example this is our image banner and we click over here on select, add images. We're going to be able to select an image to be our banner. Once it's done uh, uploading I'm going to click over here on done and as you can see the name of our banner is going to change. Next here on our heading we can change the text. For example I'm going to put welcome to my equipment rental website and as you can see the text is going to change. Now let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. We're going to go over here on template, we're going to click on add a section and here we're going to have a bunch of different options such as for example featured collection, featured product, collections list, etc etc. For me I'm just going to choose a featured product and here you can see that the new section is going to appear right at the bottom. Now once we select it we're going to go over here on the right and we're going to select a product to be displayed right around here. For example I'm going to choose my Easter's rental product. As you can see it's now being displayed right over here. Now let's say that we want to change this section a bit. For example we're going to change its color scheme to a nice dark theme 
right around there. Now let's say that we have added a new section by mistake. For example, I'm going to add a featured collection and it's going to appear again right over here at the bottom. Now, uh, if we want to delete it, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have this selection selected and we're going to go over here on the bottom right to the remove section button. As you can see, the section is going to be removed. We can also add sections to our footer. For example, here we can add an email sign up and a custom liquid. And the same goes for our header. We can add here an announcement bar and also a custom liquid. Another very important thing about our header is going to be that right over here, our store's name is going to be displayed. So in order to change it, what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes. We're going to exit. And here on the home page of Shopify, if we go to name your store, we're going to be able to change the name of our store. For example, I'm just going to put equip equipment rental and I'm going to save it. Now, in order to make sure that everything is correct, we are going to go back to our online store. Here, we're going to click the three dots preview and we're going, and as you can see here on our header, the name of our store is going to be changed. We can scroll down to make sure everything else is set up just the way we want. And once we are done checking up our website and next we're going to go over here to the analytics section. Now this is going to be a really important section for us guys because here we're going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value and many different things such as for example uh, which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers among many many other things and uh, information which is going to really help us manage and customize our website and our business all from the same place. Lastly I wanted to show you the discount section here if we go to discount I'm going to click on add discount we are going to choose an amount of products and here we're going to be able to customize our own discount for our online store. For example, here we can choose the code. Let's say we're going to put code 101 or we can just click over here and a Shopify is going to provide us a random code for us. Below it, we can choose which kind of discount it's going to be, either a fixed amount or a percentage amount. I'm going to choose a percentage and let's say we're going to have a 10% discount. Below it, we can choose which uh, collections our discount is going to apply to. For example, um, we are going to click on Browse and I'm going to choose the products of my homepage collection. If we keep going down, you can see that we have uh, more options to further customize our discounts, such as if we need any minimum purchase requirements for it, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, the combinations, and lastly here, if we click on set end date, we can choose an expiration date for our discount. For example, I'm going to choose the 29th and here I'm going to click save discount. Now we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, maybe gift to a friend or just use however we would like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the link in the description for a three days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for one month one time deal. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.